Yeah. Man, like, uh, you've been going crazy, uh, steady going up uh, with the music and shit. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, Milwaukee, like like we said last time, bro, Milwaukee's still elevating, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, like, shit, like, we up next. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we top five cities right now. Like, I know Complex put out some a bullshit list of uh, they top music cities and Milwaukee wasn't even on there, bro. Like, at all. Why, why not, though? Yeah, because I don't know. I don't think it's a big market, though. Like, I feel like that's why I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, okay, we, we ain't a big market, but we are an important market. A lot of these niggas, a lot of they show money come from here. Uh, niggas who own now, they wasn't, I ain't going to say they wasn't shit, because niggas, everybody, somebody, you know, doing their yeah. thing. But a lot of niggas wasn't as big musically until they came through the mill. Like, we the gatekeepers for this shit. Like, Babyface right now, when they was first getting booked, niggas came here and was getting show money first. Niggas wasn't calling them. Well, I don't know them niggas' life like that. But from 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 my understanding, niggas wasn't. They wasn't just getting the stupid crazy calls from every city like how it is for them niggas now. Peasy and Dame Dodd and a lot of these niggas. Milwaukee, they will tell you. Even Boosie said like a lot of these niggas first came up in off us. So it's like you can't you can't count us out. I don't give a fuck if we ain't a big city. We important, All right? You know what I'm saying. So that that's the thing with me, like. I don't know, my nigga. They they gonna keep counting us out though, unless we count ourselves in. And what it is, I ain't gonna say stop showing, uh, artists from other cities love, cause you gotta do that. You gotta embrace, cause we wanna be embraced everywhere we go. But stop, um, treating them better than our own artists. We yeah. either gotta get treated equally or better. Yeah. It ain't no we finna embrace these niggas coming from out of town and then shit on fam across the street who just dropped. Unless that shit really trash, you know. <laughs> but we knowing like niggas here having motion, they getting off too. Niggas sounding good in that booth, but we, you know, we gonna dick ride other niggas because they got this and that going. Oh, we gotta stop doing that shit. Like I, hell no, we can't keep doing that. We gotta embrace our own, like our own. They been getting better, you know. They been putting respect on a lot of niggas' names, but it can be better because niggas is still in the trenches or in jail and ain't made it out. Niggas is in jail for trying to bust moves grit and survive and they raw as a bitch niggas really talented but they putting their life on the line just to be able to pay to do this music shit niggas yeah. gotta buy beats pay for clothes dude you know bitches ain't fucking with no motherfucker motherfucker ain't iced up motherfucker ain't looking good ain't driving in this ain't sounding like this you gotta go to the best studios these video man's whacking us an arm and a leg you know what i'm saying it's a lot of shit bro niggas really gotta have real g's to do this shit Unless they just going to skate by and do it the cheap way. Niggas got to really have. I done been on both sides of the fence. Right. I know now, mm -hmm. like, it's way that this shit take money. Yeah. So it's niggas really sitting behind bars. Niggas like Looney, yeah. Chicken, niggas who really put their life on the line. They really live. They rap some, you know, I don't know. I don't think them niggas guilty of the cases they got open right. now or nothing. Right. But, right. you know, like, niggas that did their fair share of the dirt other occasions in these streets. And niggas is really trying to. You know what I'm saying? Make money to be able to supply this shit. And then just for us to still be like, no, nah, nigga, fuck that. We finna go to such and such show, the nigga from out of town. And then that's cool. We could go to that too. But like, why fam shit ain't packed too? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they done packed some clubs and shit, but that be little shit. I'm talking about big shit. Like, the rave is here. <laughs> U.S. Cellular Arena, that shit's still in Milwaukee. Them niggas, is big, they a big part of this population. Everybody listening to niggas. Niggas shouldn't even have to sell nothing, do nothing, bust no type of moves, put their life on the line. This shit's supposed to pay for itself because niggas is really talented and better than some of these niggas who own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this shit, we got to stop doing that as a whole, as a city, man. Put on for y'all people. Straight yeah, up. Definitely. But shit, like, for somebody that's, like, trying to get a real buzz, like, in Milwaukee, like, how much would you say they might need, like, to just get a straight little buzz out of Milwaukee? Uh... <laughs> However much you gonna charge them, cause you go put them in the dough with whoever. You know what I'm saying? However much Jerry want, don't hold y'all nuts on that shit, man. Go, go ahead and invest in yourself, man. That's just real shit. Not even just cause I'm sitting right here. Like motherfucker, come to you with a nice amount of cheese. You gonna make sure that you put in your work, and you gonna make sure that they get seen. Right. And whether the comments is good or bad, that ain't up to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All you can do is put the spotlight on them mm -hmm. and be like, "That's who it is right now." Right. A lot of these niggas' first mixtapes you hosted, <laughs> like damn near everybody shit. So it's everybody. like, who you know, like be be real. Niggas got to keep it real with themselves, bro. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of, 
And then there's still certain avenues niggas got to take because you got to pay cameramen. You got to yeah. probably got to go shop with Tay Love, Wavy Boy. Or, you know, you might yeah. got to go get a beat from Ready, whoever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to leave niggas out. It's a lot more niggas. Lot I can't niggas. go all day. But a lot of niggas, you know, Richie said, Slim, Richie a lot said, of yeah. niggas who will yeah. get you there. But ain't just all about that either, because now you still got to do something else. You think because you went to go get a mellow dropping 30 beat and got a DJ Jerry interview, you're going to take over the city. You know, you might have to come with a bigger budget. It's a lot more niggas out here put you in a car. KB, you know what I'm saying? It's niggas who who doing they want to. Kalini, you know, yeah. it's niggas who, me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This come yeah. fuck with me too, you know? I do f- promo, all that shit too. It's club promoters, niggas like Maintained, and it's yeah. other artists you got to network with. You might have to pay for a couple features. You might have to do your one too. Cause other niggas that invested in they self and they ain't can't take time out they day to just try to put you on and they ain't getting shit they dance. So like nigga going you know. Unless you done showed that favor to niggas on a on a different tip and you like, you know, scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah. Now that's a different story. That's having a personal friendship with motherfucker relationship, but you gonna need a couple G's though. Just know that. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is you might not need it all up front. You probably can pace yourself. Like, you know what? Fam, on 200 for this beat. I'm going to buy that. Then I'm going to go get the studio time from Jerry in like a week after I'm done writing. And then I'm going to shoot. I'm going to go buy my outfit and shit. I'm going to grind for like two, three weeks. Cause I got to get whatever I need. I want to make sure if I want to get this rental, I want to be looking like this. I want this. I need these girls in there. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? We going to need this many bottles that day. Some weed. So I'm going to shoot the video in like three weeks. Boom. That you see how, how spaced out all these payments yeah. becoming? Yeah. So it's still taking G's, it's gonna add up, but you ain't gotta bring it all to the table at once. Now you like, boom, now let me uh let me pay for some promo. The video done drop. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta pay a couple of these blogs to post my shit. Bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? You probably wanna run some ads. Do whatever you're gonna do. It's gonna take G's, but you're gonna look up and be like, damn, you know what I spent? This on that, this on that, this on that. Then, then that's when you're gonna see. But niggas be just trying to. I need to do all this shit today. Well, nigga, you better have all this money today. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? That's all it be. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. going to cost G's, though, for sure. And right. if you want a decent buzz, you could be a one-hit wonder. You could spend five G's and be a one-hit wonder. Yeah. Like a hit in Milwaukee. Like, and be a one-hit wonder <laughs> if your shit hot. Or you could spend five G's and that shit do nothing because that shit ain't hot. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah.